Hello, um, my name is Pete Horton. I'm with the Wattstopper. I'm Vice President of Market Development. I'm excited to be up here at Alps Controls in Pittsburgh to introduce a new uh, lighting control system that we refer to as Digital Lighting Management. The Alps team is here to help us launch this product and uh, this is just a quick overview, a little teaser to help you get introduced to the next generation of digital lighting controls. What I like about this product is that it's built for system integrators to take advantage of a real simple, cost-effective way to get into the lighting controls business. Now we've got other training programs to help you understand the market opportunities and the products, but real quick I just want to start showing to you what digital lighting management is. In the past we'd have a power pack, and this is just a line voltage to low voltage control device, and we'd hook it up to an analog occupancy sensor. There's a lot of wiring to connect these devices together and it was relatively labor intensive and limited in its sequence of operation and the capabilities of saving additional energy. We looked at the amount of wiring that was required to get this done and the time that needed to be done there and the level of sophistication of the installer and we found there was a better way of doing it if we just looked at the world a little bit different. So instead of taking a simple approach, we wanted to take advantage of the digital communications that are available today. Part of the architecture of digital lighting management is the RJ45 patch cord, and these will be available through the Alps Controls e-catalog. The cornerstone of the product, similar to the power pack, is a digital power pack. And this has three RJ ports available just to plug these devices in. This room network communicates over the RJ45 network. This is a free topology network, so I can just plug into any open port. And this room controller is controlling my lights. So I can have on, off, multi-level, or dimming capabilities with these different types of room controllers. By plugging in an occupancy sensor, very quickly you can see how I can do this. Very simply with relatively low skills, I now have a complete control system for automatic on, automatic off in my space. If I wanted higher levels of energy savings, I could run my RJ45 down the wall to my wall switch, plug it in, and then plug it into any available port on the system. Now what's truly unique about digital lighting management is that it reconfigures on the fly to the most energy efficient sequence of operation. With an occupancy sensor, it's automatic on, automatic off. With just a switch, it's manual on, manual off. But when you put the two of them together, you can have manual on, manual off, and in case you forget, an automatic shutoff. Now that's just the start of DLM. Other things that are really nice about this is that it's all digital. And you know that uh, LEED is pushing for uh, enhanced commissioning of our systems. So all of our time delays and sensitivities are all digitally calibrated unlike our existing products or what you'll see out in the field today where you're using dip switches and potentiometers to set the calibration. So what's the advantage of that? Instead of having to get up on a ladder and change these dip switches to get the most energy efficient sequence of operation, I can just grab my digital commissioning tool and through two-way IR communications I just point this to the sensor I want to look at, download the data, see what my sensitivity settings are, if I like them I can just leave it alone or if I want to change them I can make the changes here at the commissioning tool and send it right back up to the sensor. That's the start of digital lighting management. These devices also come with backnet connectivity so the same twisted pair that you're using to control your VAV boxes and your uh, air handlers can be used to manage and control your lighting control systems. All the variables that are available in the room are, are, are broadcast as backnet objects so changing time delay, sensitivity, monitoring light levels and power consumption are all available to the system integrator now through BACnet objects. We believe we've got a real game changer with digital lighting management and with Alps controls we know we're going to help change the world as it relates to lighting controls and intelligent buildings. Thanks for attending.